at some point in the early 90s. Actually, I think this promotion still goes on, but in particular, the early 90s. There was a promotion brought out by Pepsi where you uh, you earn something called Pepsi points, and then you get enough Pepsi points, you can trade them in for fabulous prizes, like a leather jacket or a Pepsi merchandise or whatever. I think maybe you would also like buy more Pepsi with the Pepsi points, but regardless, there was a particular commercial involving Pepsi points where... Uh, a little particular commercial about it where they showed a bunch of the stuff you could win, and as a joke... They show a kid showing up to school in a fucking fighter jet, and uh, he's like, this sure beats the school bus. And what happened is, I think that they said the fighter jet was um, 7 million Pepsi points, 7 million Pepsi points so you can win the fighter jet, and an addition, uh, additional fine print they had for the entire promotion was you could get the amount of Pepsi points something the catalog was worth. There was an actual catalog involved, I don't think that had the Harrier jet in it, but the commercial still said that. But in the fine print, you could um, redeem the prizes for the cash value of the Pepsi points. And the case of the 7 million Pepsi point Harrier jet, I think it was uh, $700,000. Which, it's a lot of money, but for a fucking fighter jet, that's a fucking pittance. I think it's like... I think that it was actually valued at like $240 million or something like that. For the fighter jet, probably more. That sounds kind of low. Go grand. We're talking like 1994. But because of the commercial, uh, there's this dude who had that kind of money, and he tried to buy the Harrier jet from Pepsi for 700. Well, not 700 thousand dollars. He had some Pepsi points. I think he had 15 cents worth of Pepsi points or something like that. So he tried to buy it. For seven hundred thousand dollars minus the fifteen cents of Pepsi points, and obviously Pepsi didn't have a fucking fighter jet on hand to give him, so he didn't get it, and he went up bringing Pepsi to court saying that he's owed a fucking fighter jet, and obviously he he didn't wind up getting the fucking fighter jet, and the court decided against them. But then the quotes regarding because obviously like it's the whole thing is clearly a joke, but to actually determine this in a legal language, they have to give a reasoning behind it. So let me take a look. I think I have it pulled up here, uh, what their quotes are for justifying why this was an obvious, obvious joke. They have to legally justify why it's a joke. You can't just say it's just a joke. So here's what they say. The callow youth featured in the commercial is a highly improbable pilot. One who could barely be trusted with the keys to his parents' car. And mind you, these are actual quotes from the lawsuit. One who could barely be trusted with the keys to his parents' car, much less the prize aircraft of the United States Marine Corps. The teacher's comment that flying a Harrier jet to school... Oh, the teenager's rather. The teenager's comment that flying a Harrier jet to school sure beats the bus evinces and probably ins... What evinces an improbably insouciant attitude. I, I'm, the thing I'm recording with, I can't, like, flip it to show you right now, but, uh, th these are the words that he's, I haven't seen these words. Evinces an improbably insouciant, ins <laughs> insouciant attitude towards, I can tell from context the, oh, the gist of what's meant by this. Insouciant attitude towards the relative difficulty and danger of piloting a fighter plane in a residential area. Basically, basically what they're saying is the teenager obviously wasn't uh, stressed out by the stressful task of, of flying a fighter jet in a fucking neighborhood. No school would provide landing space for a student's fighter jet, nor condone the disruption the jet's use would cause. And in light of all these facts, they decided that, you know, maybe it really was a joke. But, interestingly, what wound up happening is, the guy didn't get his fucking fighter jet or anything, but they continued playing the, per the commercial, but they changed, they didn't get rid of the jet scene, they changed the amount of Pepsi points in the commercial that you need to buy it, so I guess so no one would even try it. I think they upped it to 700 million points instead of just 7 million. Because, you know, like, there's nobody... 
I guess they figured like maybe these like these small ri- the, like the people who are a little rich might try to fuck with them, but the very rich people they have no time for such uh, skull duggery. And that's the story of the Pepsi fighter jet. Goodbye. <laughs>